Not only do they have a great brewery down here in Saugatuck, they also have my favorite number one ice cream, Palazzolo's. And I am lucky enough to have Chef Jeremy here with me from Palazzolo's Ice Cream. The thing that I love about Palazzolo's is that everything you make there is homemade. And you even recently put in a bakery, right? Yes, that's true. So you're baking your own cookies that go in your cookie dough right. ice cream? Um, all of the ingredient statements that we saw in commercial cookie dough that you could buy in and fold into ice cream were just had horrendous ingredient statements. So what's in, in yours? In, in ours, flour, butter, brown sugar, oats some raisins, a little bit of spices, uh, vanilla and salt. So it's I just mean, it's the, the just real deal, real nothing artificial. Right. I love that. Now, the second best thing about your ice cream is that you can literally, if you're a chef, you can literally have any flavor made that you want. That's true. And one of the best flavors that you make is oatmeal stout. Oatmeal stout, one of my favorites. Because uh, it's beer and ice cream. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Which is awesome, and that's what we have right here. So tell me a little bit about how you came up with this recipe. Um, this was uh, something we've been making for a few years now. Um, we take uh, beer and just mix it in with the cream. Um, it's, so you're not cooking the beer out? We're not cooking the beer out. So this is not for kids? It's uh. not. It's, <laughs> you could have a bite or two. Right. Um, it's, you're not putting as much beer in as you would need to get drunk. You would have to, to eat uh, probably about 30 of these bowls. Oh, I'm in. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you're mixing the beer right in with the cream. Right in with the cream. Right. After and after the cream is cooled down um, and is ready to go into the machine. So with the sugar, the cream, um, we mix the beer right in. And it doesn't need vanilla or anything else because it's just Because all I taste flavor. is the beer, and right. I love it. it is, but it's not overwhelming. The, right. the dairy part of the ice cream is kind of kicking it down a, li a little That's bit. That's right. I think of it like a uh, like a chocolate malt. Yes. Right? <laughs> so you have all the malt flavor, all the hop flavor in with the cream and it comes out being nice and malty and delicious. And so usually this can come with um, some oatmeal cookie pieces in it. Right. So it's cookies, beer, and ice cream. That's right. Oh my god, I'm in heaven. <laughs> well, I'm going to give it a try. Do you make any other ice creams with beer? We make quite a few. Um, we've made some for... Uh, different breweries here in Michigan uh, and uh, Indiana. Um, Which ones? Uh, in Indiana, Michigan City, uh, Shoreline Brewery. Um, How about here in Michigan? Here in Michigan, we've made it uh, for here, Sog Duck Brewing. Uh, we also made... Uh, New Holland? New Holland, the Poet Stout. Nice, that would be a very good one. Very good, very good. We also made some sorbetto with their... Um, uh, hop tequila that they make they make a tequila with hops That's oh that would be really fun. interesting yeah. I love it yeah. well as since you're in the ice cream business what are and right now we know kind of the trend in cooking in general as well as in ice cream is bacon right what's they, the next trend in the, ice cream? the next trend um, you know right now you go to Denny's you go to Burger King you can get bacon in your ice cream sundae um, and I've been seeing uh, over the last 10 years an increase in beer and ice cream. Um, I really think that this is the next big thing. I think you're really? going to see beer flavors in your grocery store. Um, in all sorts of different in products. all different, different products. Um, well, this is the best product, I think, right now <laughs> that has beer in it with ice cream. It's so delicious. It's all natural. And it's all local. Made mm -hmm. right here in Saugatuck by Palazzolo's Gelato.